Hello everybody. If you're having problem running Micro VR uh, Windows 10 version Bedrock with your Oculus Quest 2 headset, well, I'm going to show you a solution that might work for you. I actually had a problem running it um, and it just didn't work. I saw either a window on the on my computer, it's just stuck, white, small window that just doesn't do anything with kind of a loading screen. And I also saw something in the headset just you know, just it's like waiting for something to happen. But basically something on my computer actually wasn't running properly. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can actually solve this. This is one solution. There might be others, but this might work for you. Now, first of all, the most important thing is that you need to make sure you have Minecraft installed on your computer, the regular version installed. This is a must, all right? We get to something that is free, but what is free on the Oculus Store is not actually the game itself, just an update so you can run it in VR. So this is, uh, you need to have Minecraft for Windows 10, in this case you see Bedrock, installed on your PC before we move on. Now before we continue, I want you to make sure that your Oculus Quest 2 is connected to your PC using the VR cable. Make sure, of course, you give permission for the computer to access uh, the headset. So just wear the headset, uh, approve the connection, and we're going to continue from there. Now the next thing we need to do is go to the Oculus Store, type Minecraft, and you can see this one. This is a patch that allows you to, uh, enables you to play Minecraft Bedrock in virtual reality. It's a free update, you don't need to pay for it, just download uh, and make sure it's uh, installed. Now this is the point where usually players kind of notice that there's a problem, they can actually play. What they do, uh, you just either in the headset or on the Oculus Store, uh, store place play to play the Minecraft uh, and it just either, you know, get into a situation where it's stuck, it doesn't load, it's stuck in a loading screen. So I'm going to show you how you can solve this. So as long as you did everything here correctly uh, and you still were able to play it, uh, there is a solution for this, this might work for you. Now the next session involves editing the registry. Uh, just make sure if you want to back up the registry, if you know how to do this, if not search Google, how to back up registry, or just copy paste the volume that we are actually editing just in case you want to replace it later on. So basically what we need to do is just uh, do uh, the Windows key, hold the Windows key and press R together, right? That's what you can do. Or what you can do is tap the Windows key and start typing a run and you're going to have, you can actually uh, use the run command. After you do this, uh, you have this run window. What you need to do is just type regedit and tap either enter or OK to open the registry editor. Now in the registry editor, you need to find in the tree the following key. Take a look. So you can clearly see the key is HK local machine, software, Cronus, OpenXR, and you go to the one folder. Now the volume that should be there is something similar to what you see in red at the bottom. All right, you can see there C program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Steam VR. So this is tells you to use Steam VR uh, for the XR. However, uh, if it doesn't work for you, you can change it and use this one. So just in case you want to change it, you need to save this volume. Now to change it, you need to double tap the active runtime and it will open the window where you can actually change the volume. So you're basically changing from the what's in the red volume, you know, at the end you see Steam VR, to the new one, the Oculus Open XR. Okay, just remember if you want to change it back, you can change it back and just switch uh, to the previous one. Just follow the same steps and just open the full uh, path that you removed. All right, so you're just going to change from the red one, from the Steam VR to the Oculus Open XR, the blue one. Just put everything there uh, in the text box. All right, and then you can just uh, go and save it. Uh, for me, it worked by the way, but if it doesn't work for you, you can actually restart the computer again. Uh, if you restart your computer, just make sure again you reconnect your headset to your computer before doing everything again. And by the way, one last thing, I also saw that uh, people create a shortcut micro VR uh, with some OpenXR argument, all right? This is URL that contains, you know, what you can to run and with an argument that goes to the game and launch in VR. 
you can try that and see if it works for you as well. So after you do this and you launch, this is supposed to solve the issue and uh, Minecraft should work for you on your Oculus Quest 2 headset. Again, if you make changes, I recommend maybe restarting the computer, connecting everything, try not and see if it works for you. If it does, great, this is one solution that worked for me and now I'm able to play Minecraft Bedrock on my Oculus Quest 2 headset. Just one last thing, keep in mind that the game does support the Oculus Quest 2 controllers. I first read that I need a gamepad because I actually couldn't download it. I needed to connect a gamepad to my computer uh, in order to be able to download it because it said it's required. But basically you can use it with a gamepad or the Oculus Quest 2 controller and it works great. What you see here is actually me playing the game Minecraft Bedrock on my Oculus Quest 2 headset with the two VR controllers, the original one that comes with the Oculus 2 headset. I hope this uh, solved this for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have anything to add, any other solutions as well, put them in the comment section below. And again, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel and give this one a little like. And also consider maybe joining our Discord server. Thank you very much. I see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.